Welcome to our channel, where we unravel the mysteries of early childhood. Today's burning question, should babies have any screen time? It's a digital world, but what's best for our little ones? Join us as we dive deep into expert advice, uncovering the impacts and alternatives of screen time for babies. Whether you're a new parent or a seasoned caregiver, this video is packed with insights you won't wanna miss. So buckle up and let's explore the world of babies and screens. Understanding screen time. In today's digital age, screens are everywhere. From smartphones to tablets, televisions to computers, digital screens have become a fundamental part of our daily lives. But when it comes to our youngest members of society, the babies, how does this screen-filled environment impact them? Let's break down what we mean by screen time. Essentially, it's the time spent in front of any electronic display, be it playing video games, watching TV, or even scrolling through a phone. For adults and older children, screens can be tools for learning and entertainment. However, for babies, whose brains are developing rapidly, the story is quite different. In the early years of life, every experience from tactile to visual plays a crucial role in brain development. During this period, babies learn from their environment, absorbing information and developing critical skills like language and emotional recognition. The concern with screen time arises when it starts replacing these crucial interactive physical experiences. While a colorful, moving screen might seem engaging, it's important to understand that for a baby, this is a passive experience. Unlike playing with toys or interacting with people where babies actively participate and learn, screen time offers little to no active learning. This segment is not about creating fear, but about understanding the impact and how we, as caregivers, can make informed decisions about our children's early experiences. Experts' perspective. But what do child development experts say about screen time for babies? Dr. Emily Smith, a renowned pediatrician and child development specialist, raises concerns. In the first years of life, a child's brain is like a sponge, absorbing everything. Real-world interactions, not screens, provide the sensory input and social interaction necessary for healthy development, she explains. Studies back this up. Research from leading child health organizations has found that excessive screen time can lead to delays in language development, problems with attention and learning, and even a decrease in the quality of parent-child relationships. Screen time can be hypnotic, limiting opportunities for babies to interact with their surroundings and engage in creative play. It's not just about cognitive development. Social and emotional skills, which are crucial in the early years, are learned through real-life interactions. When a child spends more time in front of a screen, they have fewer opportunities to observe and learn from the facial expressions, emotions, and behaviors of those around them. Dr. Smith and many of her peers advocate for minimal to no screen time for children under two years of age. The first two years. The first two years of a baby's life are a period of incredible growth and development. This is when the foundations for thinking, language, vision, attitude, and emotional control are laid down. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that infants under 18 months should have no screen time other than video chatting. This guideline stems from the belief that at this tender age, human interaction and touch are far more beneficial than any content a screen could provide. During these formative years, babies learn best by interacting with people, not screens. They develop language skills by listening to and participating in conversations, not just hearing words from a TV or tablet. They learn about emotions and social cues from facial expressions and tone of voice in their daily interactions. These experiences cannot be replicated by digital media, no matter how educational it claims to be. Interactive play, be it with parents, siblings, or other caregivers, is irreplaceable for healthy development. It encourages physical skills like crawling and walking, develops fine motor skills as they play with toys, and nurtures emotional bonds as they engage with loved ones. This stage is also crucial for sensory development, as babies explore different textures, sounds, and sights in their environment. So, while technology continues to advance and screens become ever more prevalent, the message from child development experts remains clear and consistent. The best investment in a baby's future during these critical first two years 
is time spent interacting with the world and the people around them, not screens. The impact on sleep and behavior. Another crucial aspect to consider is the impact of screen time on a baby's sleep and overall behavior. Numerous studies have shown a correlation between screen time and sleep disturbances in young children. The blue light emitted from screens can disrupt the natural sleep cycle, making it harder for babies to fall asleep and stay asleep. This disruption in sleep can lead to crankiness, difficulty in focusing, and overall irritability. Beyond sleep, there's also the issue of behavior. Excessive screen time has been linked to behavioral problems as children grow. They may become more prone to tantrums or struggle with emotional regulation. This is partly because screen time often replaces activities that help children develop self-control and patience, such as playing with toys that require sustained attention or interacting with others. As a parent or caregiver, it's important to be aware of these potential impacts. Ensuring that screen time doesn't interfere with sleep is crucial. This might mean avoiding screens at least an hour before bedtime and creating a calming, screen-free bedtime routine. Balancing screen time. While the consensus is to limit screen time for babies, we also live in a digital world where screens are a part of our daily lives. So how do we find a balance? The key is to be mindful and intentional about screen usage. If you choose to introduce digital media to your child, make sure it's high quality and educational. Engage with your child during these sessions. Talk about what you're watching, ask questions, and turn it into an interactive experience. Set clear limits. This could mean setting a daily screen time limit or designating certain times of the day as screen-free. Remember, it's not just about the amount of time spent in front of a screen, but also about what's being sacrificed in its place. Time spent on screens is time not spent playing, exploring, and interacting with others, all of which are critical for development. Lastly, be a role model. Children learn by example, so be mindful of your own screen habits. Show them that while screens are a part of our lives, they don't have to dominate them. Alternatives to screen time. While minimizing screen time is crucial for babies, it's equally important to offer enriching alternatives that stimulate their development. Let's explore some screen-free activities that not only foster growth, but also strengthen the bond between you and your child. Firstly, reading to your baby is a wonderful way to boost language and emotional skills. Even if they don't understand the words yet, the rhythm and tone of your voice provide a comforting and learning experience. Plus, the visuals in children's books help develop their visual tracking and recognition skills. Engaging in sensory play is another excellent alternative. Activities like playing with blocks, squishing Play-Doh, or exploring textures in a sensory bin provide tactile experiences that are essential for brain development. This type of play supports fine motor skills, cognitive growth, and problem-solving abilities. As we've seen, the world of screens and babies is a delicate balance. Remember, the best screen time is no screen time for our littlest ones. But when screens are used, make it meaningful and interactive. Thank you for joining. If you found value in our exploration, please like, share, and subscribe for more essential parenting tips. Stay informed, stay connected, and let's nurture our children's future together. Until next time, keep embracing the joy of parenting.